Hey guys, this is a racing fan 2442 here back for another video and I'm going to be doing a diecast review on Brad Keselowski's 2019 Mega Lite um, Ford Mustang and right before we get into the diecast review, let's do a quick little um, um, package review with the box. Alright, so on the side we got Brad Keselowski Team Penske Limited Edition Adult Collectible because it's Mega Lite. Um, we got Brad Keselowski, number 2 Miller Lite, 2019 Mustang, limited edition, 164 scale stock car. Action Racing Collectible, still the choice of champions with, again, the adult collectible. On the top, you got Action Racing Collectibles, and for, no, and for some reason, it doesn't have the choking hazard thing right here, as it will normally have with other diecast or packaging. On the back you got NASCAR, and on the bottom you got Lana Racing, RCCA, Penske Racing. I don't know why they still have the Penske Racing logo on the bottom when it's supposed to be Team Penske, but oh well. www.lanaracing.com, and that's going to be it for the packaging. And so let's get right into the diecast review, or let's take this diecast out of its package and we're gonna get into the diecast review alright now we took the diecast out of its package so now we can do the diecast review and yes I still haven't take this I still haven't taken this diecast off of this platform thingy just like I did with the Kevin Harvick one when I did the diecast review so the Kevin Harvick diecast I already did um, take off the platforming thing but for the Brad Keselowski I haven't because I'm only going to do that after I do the diecast review. So yeah, let's get into the diecast review, shall we? Alright, so on the front you got Miller Lite, or just Lite, Pensoil, number 2, Ford Mustang, no Team Penske logo for some reason. On the side you got Goodyear, NASCAR Race Car, absolutely no contingencies at all because of this thing right here. Number 2, Discount Tire, Miller Lite, American Netflix logo. American Athlon logo, Alliance truck parts, snap on, then on the top here you got Brad Kasowski, number 4, Reeves, uh, DXC, Technology, PPG, Massac, and let me close into that much more. What is this little like thing right here? What is that supposed to be? Focus. Kind of looks like the American flag. I don't know. Then over here you got Auto Trader with a little like. It's got like a little like arrow right here. It says Auto Trade instead of Auto Trader. The R is in here. But oh well. Auto Trader. And then SKF. And then you got. On the back you got Mirror Light. Number, um, number 2. Ford. On the deck there you got Worth with Brad Kasowski on the back windshield. Then on the roof you got number two with no roof sponsor as usual for Team Penske cars. And this side is the same as the left. Alright, so this paint scheme, I mean like, it's pretty good because of the Ford Mustang. But it's just been the same paint scheme ever since 2014. I mean, like, yes, some changes to the to the paint scheme have gone through years. I mean, like, in 2014, you had, like, the, the grain, like, the whole grains right here beside the front tire for 2014. And, and then 2015, you had the, the Miller logo, the Miller, the Miller, right on top of the Miller Lite logo. Actually saying Miller Lite on the hood. That was for 2015, and then in 2016... It was this, just light, no whole grains, it's just a blue skirt with a gold and red outline. So yeah, it's just been the same thing ever since 2014, with a couple of differences here and there, but just the same thing in general since 2014. And I mean, I just, yeah, it's just a really simple paint scheme to look at. I mean, like, I love simple paint schemes. Just like this one, but it's just been the same thing ever since, like, like years ago, like, like, five years ago, 2014. I mean, like, seriously, why? 
Same thing for Joey Logano, but I mean, like, for the Joey Logano one, it's actually becoming a, a bit more like iconic thanks to Logano, like getting the championship and winning the 500. Brad Keselowski hasn't won the championship with this paint scheme, and he hasn't gotten in the 500 win with this paint scheme. So yeah, it's just the same thing for, for 20 since 2014, and it's just getting a bit like, come on, at least change it up a bit. Make the paint scheme reversed. Make it look like Rusty Wallace's 2001 to 2004 um, paint scheme. I almost said 2001 to 2002, but I remember that it was also through 2003 and 4. So yeah, make it look like Rusty Wallace's 2001 to 2004 paint scheme with the blue on top and the white on the bottom. Come on. I mean, like, just change it up a bit. I mean, like, at least for the throwbacks, they are throwing it back to Rusty Walls. To his Miller Lite Genuine Draft paint scheme. So, uh, I mean, like, I don't know. It's just a very simple paint scheme to look at. But just, yeah. Uh I mean, like, let's just go over the simple things right here. You got white rims. You got a blue number with red outline all around the car. Um, you got a, a dark blue splitter, or a spoiler, I mean. It's got a white splitter. Um, I don't know if that's black or dark blue. Let's see. No, it's black. No, wait. No, it's actually dark blue. Yeah, it's actually dark blue roof sides. So yeah, I mean like white um white um what is it? White rims, blue number with red outline, um dark blue spoiler, white white splitter and dark blue roof sides. So anyway, yeah, I mean like would I recommend this car or die cast? Yes. Just because it's on the Ford Mustang in case if you want to be dated with the diecast. So yeah, I would recommend it. And actually the rating for this diecast, I would give it a 6 out of 10. I mean, like, even though it's my favorite driver, I don't care. The paint scheme has been the same for years. Heck, I didn't even get the 2018 paint in the diecast. I didn't even get the 2018 die, um, Miller Lite diecast just because I already had the 2017 one. Because it's the exact same. Just the splitter was, I mean, just the spoiler was the difference. So yeah. I mean, like, the rating, 6 out of 10, and I would recommend this diecast just because it's on the Ford Mustang mode. So yeah. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope everyone enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Racing Fan 24842 here, and see you guys later.